Diwali, the Hindu celebration of the victory of light over darkness. In electrical terms, this is a battle that continues across the land, with India's power industry struggling to meet ever-growing demand. Supplying electricity to rural areas is often costly and inefficient. Now an innovative power plant has shown that locally produced electricity can power up the countryside and lighten the load on the environment. We generate jobs and we generate electricity locally through a renewable energy source. The privately owned Malavali biomass plant in rural Karnataka makes money from rubbish by generating electricity from sugarcane waste and coconut fronds. India produces around 250 million tonnes of sugarcane a year and after harvesting the profitable stem, 30 million tonnes of waste is left to burn. For any purpose it was not using. Now it is very useful for us. We are getting money and we are getting power, quality power. Some 400 workers supply the plant with the 140 tonnes of waste it needs every day. At the plant, the waste is chopped to size and conveyed to the boiler for combustion. Higher density, slower burning fuel like eucalyptus is added to create a more even burn. The heat this generates makes steam which drives the turbine to generate electricity. This is sold back to the national grid and transmitted to a nearby substation for feeding to the community. Throughout the process, waste and pollution are minimised. The carbon dioxide produced by a biomass plant is absorbed by the next crop of sugarcane, making it carbon neutral. The ash residue is useful too. High in alkaline, it's composted at a nearby silo and turned into organic fertiliser. This is packed and shipped back to the farmers, 100 kilograms in return for each metric tonne of biomass fuel supplied. Access to reliable power and more of it has a dramatic effect on local industry, including this rice mill. Voltage used to be a problem. There used to be power losses and we used to get power for only six hours. We had to use the generator which cost double the money. It wasn't working out. Now, since we got the new power, we are at peace. I had one rice mill before. Since getting a better power facility, I've got three mills. People are getting jobs. A non-profit organisation, Gramina Abivrudi Mandali, or GAM, is run like a local council. Subcontracted to the central state distribution utility, GAM trains locals in maintenance and monitoring of the power supply in 47 villages. Putting service centres closer to the customer has made paying cheaper and easier. Before, we used to spend 12 to 15 rupees travelling to pay the bill, and it used to take a whole day. Now, my husband bikes to pay the bill and is home within an hour. If Malavali's success was replicated across India, it could mean 100 billion extra kilowatt hours of electricity a year, enough for 200,000 rural villages, with few environmental side effects. We want to see this GAM as well as Marali Power Plant as a model of India.